It's go time for printing new crypto millionaires. And this video is going to show you why you should not believe the FUD that is continuing to be pushed out there, guys. There is a lot of noise at the moment. Look, guys, I'm going to be very honest with you with that big drop yesterday and me shifting my stop losses up. I actually got taken out of like 80% of my trades. And then I just decided to just close all of them, including my Bitcoin trade. I took all my profits um, and then I've redistributed profits now. And um, yeah, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few things a little bit later on. A couple of uh, my new uh, ideas for some trading. Make sure you guys are checking out my live sessions as well. Monday nights at seven o'clock. Do not miss out on one of those guys. You guys can see I've been bringing you guys crazy content here. I've got a lot of cool videos coming up for you. Do not miss out on one single one because guys, I'm telling you right now, you are not going to want to miss out on a single thing here because as you can see, this is bringing to you crazy stuff. Okay, let's not waste another second. Jumping straight in, let's go and check out the Morales Money Bubbles today. So as you guys can see, the Morales Money Bubbles are bleeding like crazy. Okay. Um, there's very, very little. I mean, Tia, Say, Leo, and Bean pretty much that are in the green today, guys. Everything else is pretty much in the absolute obliteration pile. Um, anything from 3% right up to 20% as far as I can see on this. Guys, huge things have dropped here. This is a great point to accumulate. And I'm going to show you exactly why you should be accumulating more of all of the altcoins that we have been talking about over the past little while. Now, guys, you can see this is just within like, uh, you know, within probably the first couple, uh, the first hundred uh, tokens. And as you can see, like this is big. This is massive. So and there are tokens outside of the top 100 that you're going to want to be a part of. So anyways, the cryptocurrency market cap is kind of stabilized, kind of regained a little bit of ground again. And it's currently sitting at 1.724 uh, trillion with 183 billion trading volume, which has drastically increased. And that drastically increased because we had a massive sale that came into Bitcoin yesterday. I mean, look, BTC and ETH just dropped. I mean, BTC lost about $45 billion yesterday. I don't know how much Ethereum lost, but you guys can see here. There's blood on the streets. That's just what it is. So be it. It's a time to reaccumulate these coins while they're in the red. It's a good place, guys. Don't see the red as negative. See the red as actually positive. Um, you know, this is very, very powerful because when you're seeing the red as positive, you will know that that's a good time to buy. When you see coins pumping like 300%, 100%, guys, take profits, man. Just take some profits. That's what you're in the game for, right? Um, you know, $68, uh, sorry, 68 on the fear and greed index today as opposed to yesterday, 70. And tomorrow we have quite a bit of chunky news. First of all, we have the Euro CPI at midday at 12 p.m. And according to them, it's increasing. Um, then we have the average hourly earnings. We also have manufacturing, uh, sorry, non-farm payrolls and unemployment rate tomorrow. So non-farm payrolls are predicted to go lower and then uh, unemployment rate is to predicted to be a little bit higher. Guys, if that happens, you know, that weakens the dollar. That means we should see a very good pump back up into the other altcoins. Now, here's a bit of news that's going to shock your ass off. Uh, crypto is probably at the start of a bull market. Isn't that what I just said to you guys? Crypto millionaires are about to be printed. You're going to want to stay tuned because the third article I have shared with you uh, for you guys is going to blow your mind out the water from one of the top crypto analysts in the space. So crypto is at the start of a bull market, says investor Brian Kelly, and here's how long it could last. So when we talk about stocks, we talk about the breadth of the market and the breadth widening out to the mid and small caps. And that's usually the sign of a healthy bull market. We're seeing that in crypto right now. So you are rightly bringing up names like Polkadot or Cosmos or even Solana. I don't think a lot of speculative fever around the ETF um, is probably reaching a crescendo this week. So yeah, we could, uh, could we get a sell-off? Sure. But I think that would be a dip to buy because remember, 
there are still a lot of people that have not been able to buy Bitcoin for their portfolio. So even at one, even a 1% to 2%, even a 5% allocation in IRAs or for private wealth managers that are going to be buying the ETF over the year. Duh, makes sense, right? So I dig that article. Now here's a really cool thing. And according to that, uh, from Kelly there, you guys can see, an analyst predicts mind-blowing parabolic leg for Solana, names one altcoin that could outperform other altcoins. And I've been talking to you guys about that altcoin for some time. So we'll have a little bit of a look at it. Beautiful rounded bottom forming for Sol. Would not be surprised to see some high time frame sideways on this before the next mid mind, uh, sorry, mind blowing parabolic leg. So in other words, sit sideways here, but it's a nice rounding bottom, rounding bottom, uh, shoulder, head, shoulder formation, basically. And um, we're getting ready for a pump up there on Solana. The next coin is say is quickly turning into the cycles outperformer. Should definitely be everyone's radar for pullback, in my opinion, according to the trader. Now, guys, if you've been watching my channel, you guys would have seen that I've been doing some videos on Save for you guys for some time. And if you are going to be subscribed to my channel, I'm going to do some great videos uh, again for you on Say in a moment because I see that was four weeks ago. That's a long time. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you know when I do that video because that video has high, high viewership. Of for obvious reasons. Now, the third and last article I want to share with you is that 2024 could be a wild run for Bitcoin uh, and crypto if history is any indication. And this is according to analyst Jason Pizzino. Now, guys, I do dig Jason Pizzino. If you haven't followed him, go follow him. He's really cool. Go check him out. He's incredible in his uh, in his uh, in his analysis, and I I like it. So we did have a halving in November of 2012. We had an election in 2012, and we got an election coming up this year as well. And after those elections, like we've covered already on the channel, the market can go absolutely ballistic in year two. Uh, you had Litecoin, Dodge was coming about, and there were some other coins that uh, we don't know of anymore. So this is Jason. Now, according to his charts, and I want to go and show you a little bit here, um, but basically, year two so this was this was uh when btc originally had started okay so you can see in the rallies here that year two had no alts yet year three was alts and year four was usd okay makes perfect sense okay now we on year two bitcoin into altcoins we're looking at a lot of, a lot of investors starting to shift from bitcoin into altcoins so going back to the cycle 2015 to 2016, year two was a fantastic year to go from BTC because as his first year said, I mean, as the first um, shift said, it was prior this, which was this area. Okay, this whole area, as you can see here, 2012 to 2016. And that's basically, here's 2015. So here is the 2016. So BTC year two alts, um, Bitcoin into alts from in this current year. Then year three is all the alts. Then the following year, 26, is going to be in USD. Then you prepare again, buy Bitcoin again. Then Bitcoin into alts. Then year three is alts. Then year four is USD. I freaking love it, guys. I love this guy's content. I think it's amazing. Go check him out, guys. Now, I want to show you some crazy stuff. Because the dump that we had yesterday, guys, which was pretty much like a 10% dump, I just want to go and quickly show you.
Okay, so firstly, what I want to show you is that we were rejected from my green horizontal resistance line up there. Perfectly so, might I say. Like this candle didn't close nicely above that, above this area here, guys. So it was telling us that we would have were to get a flush. I wish I had only sold up there at that point when my account was looking even more juicy. No one expected this bullshit fake news, which I'm going to show you what was once again. Uh, but guess what, guys? We haven't broken the structure. And this is the thing now is that we're kind of floating our way back up. This didn't even engulf, it only engulfed the fake out candle. It didn't engulf this candle, okay? Neither did it engulf these candles. The volume pressed us down and then we had strong buyback pressure up in this area. So even though the volume says that uh, we're expecting, you know, kind of low, uh, uh, more selling pressure, I just don't see it happening. And the reason I say that is because I did do an indication to you guys that at this little arrow down here, we made our way up, which was one year ago. And I'm going to show you what the significance of one year ago is because it goes back to Bitcoin's actual uh, date. So uh, DOB, uh, hint, hint. Okay, so as you can see, here's the next arrow. So we had a bit of a pump and a fake out here. Cool, guys. You know, like, what are we expecting? You know, this here is the... Uh, the Bitcoin full-time all-time index and as you can see it held my structure here okay so it hold up it bounced off of this bottom end here and it didn't actually break the low but if I look at the total the total market cap the total three market cap this candle did unfortunately engulf all of these candles here which is not healthy but the thing that I do see about this is that we retested here we didn't break these lows here we retested and we bounced nicely up. So for me, we could kind of sit sideways a little bit before taking off again, heading up on this beautiful way. Um, so who knows? Let's see. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying every single last moment of this video. If you are, smash the thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel if you are watching this and you have not subscribed yet. I think 82% of the people watching my videos are not subscribed. I don't know why, guys just can't understand why like if i'm bringing good content to you surely you would want to subscribe to the channel not just come and watch it you know so let's go and show you a few articles quickly so basically this is the matrix and a shout out to bitcoin archive because most of these articles that i'm about to show you are from him this is the update bitcoin price dumped nine percent in one hour on the basis of a report by matrix port predicting an sec rejection rejection of all bitcoin etf applications the justification, politics. Five voting commissioners are Democrats. Democrats don't like crypto. Applicants haven't satisfied the SEC's requirements. There is not political justification to approve a Bitcoin ETF. Well, all the courts, the highest court said to Gary Gensler and the SEC, there is no ways you cannot approve an ETF a spot ETF, especially considering there is a futures ETF that is out, which you don't need to have the underlying asset. Okay. Uh, so executive summary. So this is basically where this uh, matrix on report got. But stay tuned because it gets even more juicy in a moment. All right. So here you can see this is the matrix port on the same freaking day. Okay. So. This is the article, why the SEC will reject Bitcoin spot ETFs again. But this was this the same on the same day. Look at it. Tuesday, Tuesday, 2nd of Jan 24, Tuesday, 2nd of Jan 24. Bitcoin spot ETF approval is imminent. BTC to jump to 50K. So guys, FUD and manipulation continues in the market. Who do you think got matrix port as a news reporting in um, sector, who do you think got them to make two articles of opposing natures? Well, I wonder who, guys. This is a joke. It's a joke. It's not even funny anymore, guys. This is ridiculous. This man and this his cronies are just like, come on, man, get real now. Like, we can see what you're doing. It's oblivious. And you guys think that you're in the power. Well, guess what? The more you guys buy Bitcoin and crypto assets, the more you will free yourself. And the more you will free the, yourself from these 
people's bunch of political jargon bullshit. Okay, so don't be fooled by these guys. Just in, Bitcoin ETF issuers are confident the SEC will give the green light on or before January 10th. And this is according to Fox Business, Eleanor Terrett. Okay, let's go and see because it's getting even juicier. New, the SEC could notify Bitcoin ETF issuers of approval on Friday, tomorrow, trading to start next week. This is according to Fox Business. Okay. Breaking, Fidelity just filed a registration of securities for its spot ETF, LFG, uh, Fidelity Wise Origin Bitcoin Fund. Okay, guys. <laughs> this for me was the funniest. So, you know, if this man, where is it? If this man and his cronies continue to do their bunch of bullshit, I can tell you something right now. We're going to experience something like this. And this is a live shot of Sun and Shine. Okay. I'll go and follow Sean and Shine, which is the Grayscale uh, CEO. If the SEC issues spot e Bitcoin ETF, Denials next week. I love this. Check this out. If you guys thought that was funny, let me know down in the comments below with a good smiling, laughing face because I agree. I think a lot of people, not just Sun and Shine, are going to do the exact same thing to the SEC and jump on them and pound them, guys. I think that's so funny. Anyways, guys, here's another one from Jane uh, Sephard, but the original was from Nate Jurassi, and you can see here is the original from Nate Jurassi. My view is in line with Eleanor Terrett's reporting. I think the SEC uh, could begin signaling to issuers to expect approvals, though I'm still expecting official approvals 8 to 10 Jan. I also think the gap between approvals and orders, approval orders and actual trading will be measured in days, not in weeks. Um, sources close to the proceedings say that the SEC could begin notifying issues of approval on Friday, with trading beginning as early as next week. The final decision has not been made. Sources close to the SEC proceedings uh, say the proceedings the SEC could begin notifying issuers of approval on Friday, with trading beginning as early as next week. ETF analysts and issuers alike remain confident that a favorable decision from the SEC will be made on or before the 10th of January, as the SEC continues to meet with key players on the matter. Guys, if you don't think that Bitcoin is going to be approved by a spot Bitcoin ETF very, very soon, I don't know about you, but you guys need to sort your shit out. Because if you haven't accumulated one Bitcoin, and this is a beautiful video from Mike Novogratz, shout out to Mike Novogratz from an inspired spark in the digital depths to a global system of empowerment. Happy birthday, Bitcoin. Cheers to 15 years of pioneering the financial revolution. Guys, let's take a moment to appreciate Bitcoin for what it actually is. Let's go and check this video out. 15 years ago, a revolution was born, not in the streets, but in the silent depths of the digital world. A defiant spark a whisper of change in the aftermath of the financial crisis. They called it Bitcoin, and the very first block was created 15 years ago today. Bitcoin embodies empowerment in the digital age. Its fixed and predictable supply makes it a potentially robust store of value, free from the control of any individual or government. The white paper displayed above me laid the foundation for this novel technology, offering a solution for people anywhere in the world to securely send and receive digital money using the internet. Like any 15 year old, Bitcoin is still a teenager. People are still trying to understand its place in the world. But one thing is certain, we are committed to helping you understand and explore the transformative potential of Bitcoin. Happy birthday, Bitcoin. So I don't know about you guys, but that was great. So happy birthday, Bitcoin, for having its 15th birthday officially yesterday. On the 3rd of January, Bitcoin was born in 2009, and now we are in 2023. 
that's sorry, 2024. Oh my gosh, still living 23, guys. Oh my goodness, happy new years. <laughs> guys, if you want to trade with me, which we're going to have a look at uh, one or two of my trades right now. And if you want to trade with me, well, then let's go and make sure that you guys are subscribed down below to my Bybit link and my Bitflex link because I'm going to show you both now. I promised you that I would um, share with you guys some of my trades. You guys can see, so I've got a limit. I just want to show you guys, I've got two limits. I've got one limit here at 40,444. Why have I got that? Because we may end up coming back down to retest this level, although I doubt it. And then a little bit further on down, I actually have a limit order of 32,222. And the reason I've got that down there is because um, that kind of aligns with the level that I have been talking to you guys about for some time now, which is down here, okay? Um, which as you all know, we hit resistance, resistance, then we broke out of it and we haven't yet retested. So I do have a limit down there, 32,222. Guys, we could end up coming down there. Now, I did say to you guys in this video that we could see a little bit of a choppy move here. Well, guess what? We had 9% candle yesterday in one go. But I did say to you that I do believe that the spot ETF will allow Bitcoin to see the kind of 48 to $55,000 level resistance. Then at that point where we'll have the th potential of that 30% retracement, proper retracement down to that 38K level. And that's why I have those buy entries at those different levels. Um, you know, 38K is down here, kind of down here. So, you know, it's, it's very interesting to see. So if we do end up coming through here, I will definitely add another position there uh, so that we can do that. But guys, I just got in a very small 20X zero. I mean, what's the position? $126. I only put $6 into this position. Um, and the reason I did that is because even though it's fake news, we could still be very choppy at the moment around this area. So I want to be very, very cautious with you. And as you guys can see, we're still within a trading uh, range here right now. And if you would like, what I'd like to do for you is I'd actually like to put the bottom end of the box just over here up to that point. Okay, so that you guys can see the potential trading volumes, uh, sorry, trading range, excuse me, trading volumes that we have at the moment that we could end up looking to trade. So if we continue to fall down here, we just buy some more in the box and then we take profits and then buy some more. Who knows how long that's going to last for, but we do have approximately four to six days left before an ETF gets announced, guys. So you don't have much longer to add to your position. And compared to the selling volume and the selling pressure, I'd just be a little bit cautious here. So I did take profits on my trades yesterday, guys. I did lose some of my trades. Um, if you want to go and have a look, we can have a look here. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, no, it's not going to it's not going to give me all. OK, anyways. Uh, yeah, anyways, I did. Uh, some of the positions were good profits. Some of them weren't uh, profit at all. But guys. Look, I'm already 43% of my trade and I only really got a little little guy from down here. So look how small you need to trade to make money. Now, that's with my Bybit link, which you can get $30,000 deposit bonus. So do not miss out on that opportunity. This is my Bitflex link. You guys can sign up down here using my Bitflex link. Um, and basically, now as you guys can see here on my Bitflex link, um, I have deposited my $100, as I said, well, it's $102, as I said I would. I haven't opened up a position yet, but what I've gone and done here is I've drawn the same box line for us, okay, so that we can just be a little bit more cautious where we look and we consider our trades and our trading patterns. I do just want to say that we are still trading within a inverse head and shoulders pattern, even though we had a massive spike down here. I want to show you that there are a couple of indicators that I'm using and I'm going to use to trade Bitcoin kind of over the four hour to eight hour time frames, which will end up being like, um, you know, weekly, daily to weekly profits. OK, so what I wanted to go and share with you is that this one here is the RSI and then this is the stochastic RSI. 
the MACD and the True Strength Index. Okay, now I preferably like all of these to align up very nicely before I take any trades. In other words, um, the uh, RSI down at the bottom, the stochastic RSI down at the bottom, the MACD kind of coming into the green or white or at least uh, pinkish with the lines crossing over one another, which they currently are doing. And then the TSI kind of bouncing off the bottom in two. So I want to be able to trade this. It looks as though we're only really waiting for one. We, we are waiting for these signals. And that's why I would say, just be patient. Don't trade. I'm not going to trade any of these coins right now, especially because we've had an absolute obliteration in the market. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that content. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know what altcoin videos you guys would like to see because we're about to whoop some ass in this market, guys. Much love, beautiful blessings, and benevolence to you. Have yourself in a wonderful and incredible day ahead. Much love and light, and we'll see you on the next one.